with Paul from TCB. So can you explain to me, Paul, what TCB is and what you do here and how many years that you've been coming to MIP? Um, I'm a, a distributor of uh, factual programs. We've been going four and a half years. Um, lucky enough to be growing fast and uh, we're very focused on what we do and it seems to be a successful thing that we do. Uh, my first MIP was 1998 or MIPCOM, October 98. Uh, I felt a bit of an outsider at the time and uh, if I knew uh, then what I know now maybe I would have done it slightly differently but it was um, you know you learn as you come along don't um, don't stay out too late that you can't make your first meeting. <laughs> and what was the most engaging part of the conference uh, for you and or your company? Uh, the most engaging part that it's a high octane half hour so you've got to make every one of those 30 minutes work because the buyer's not going to turn up exactly at the start or middle of that, you've got probably about 20 minutes, so you have to use your selling skills to, uh, you can play the dumb card when it's your first market, you know, you can just um, ask as many questions as possible, and the best thing really is to listen for the first f three quarters and don't pitch till the very end, if it's your first, you, you are allowed to play the dumb card, you know, you, you do your preparation, one, but ask questions and show an interest in what these, what the, the, uh, the buyer has, you know, know their schedules if you're going to sell them a program. In regards to your first MIP, is there anything else that you would have done differently? Uh, I would prepare even more than I probably did at the time. Um, I always rigorously prepare, but really, really do prepare. Show, as I just mentioned, um, look at the TV schedule, look at, their, look at their buying habits and pick something out to demonstrate to the buyer that, they, that you have watched what's on their channel or you've seen a press release. Um, because then the buyer then feels it instantly at ease. It doesn't feel like he then has to go through a spiel. So put them at ease is the first thing I would say and put a, a lot of preparation into doing that. Show, so show them that you've done your preparation. And are there any habits that you do before you come to MIP that you think is useful and that you do every single year? Um, dry cleaning. <laughs> yes. It's a really good one. Um, uh, what would I do? I'd. Uh, um, Make sure your schedule is full of people that uh, matter. Don't just fill your schedule with people for the sake of filling your schedule. You know, your time is precious here, but you have to be very persistent to get the right meetings in. But don't time, don't waste their time, and don't put people that are going to waste your time in there. These th these moments, these half hours are precious, so don't don't mess that up. You know, make sure you're giving them a good reason to meet. In regards to the emails, obviously emailing is a huge part of MIP and, and mm. emailing in the database. What are th some things that stand out positively and some things that stand out negatively when you're receiving emails yeah, from people? They're a pain in the ass. They're an absolute pain in the ass. I would say you got away with it, you guys, because you sort of you winged it on your charm and you didn't piss people off, but um, and you didn't overdo it either. But um, a lot of buyers I've spoken to, because I'm on the buyer um, email thing as well. You, we're getting bombarded and I think um, it's too much so I, I would keep it focused and I wouldn't go everywhere you got away with it but I'd say don't send it to everybody um, be targeted use their name in the subject of the email um, or and uh, and then um, don't do too much you know and and don't um, only try and get meetings with people that you think it's going to be of use to you know um, that's that was my that's my advice is Otherwise, people just think you're another bit of spam, you know, and you guys got away with it, which I, th I respect. But it's a fine line, you know, persistence to irritation, there's, an, there's a fine line in between the two. Well, is there anything else you want to add to any of that? Uh, uh, no, um, you know, just uh, don't lose your expenses receipts. You know. All right, so. thank you so much, no, Paul. It's, it's been a pleasure meeting no, you and chatting with you today. No, thank you.